Um, this is just a demo for uh, people using Macs um, to use Smart SVN on how to use Smart SVN to make their commits. Um, so you can you have two options. So if you are sure of the files that you have changed, you can individually select those files and hit commit. So as you can see, only those two that I selected come up in the changes. And then you can add your commit message. So the commit message uh, format is add your name, always add your name, and then followed by a descriptive uh, sentence uh, explaining what you did in this commit. So it cannot be just like made changes or um, updated or something like that. It has to be some inf instructive thing so that people who look at your logs can understand what this change uh, involved. So that's one way of doing it. Or if you're if there are too many files that you don't want to individually sit and select, you can hit commit. Uh, it'll ask you whether you want to do fully recursive, and then if you hit continue, this will show all the changes uh, that are visible in the smart SVN. But it'll by default it'll select all of them. So here you can do your uh, individual file selection if you don't want to commit, for example, the project settings, which usually you never want to. Um, then you can just select or uh, unselect this box, and then when you hit commit only the first two will get committed to the remote repository. Yeah, I think that's about it. 